Today we're going to discuss the use of battery chargers with large forklift batteries. The forklift that you see here is a, uh, is a Toyota 1.6 ton um, electric forklift. It has a very large battery. It's a 48 volt battery, 633 amp hours, um, weighs 1.2 ton. And at the moment, it is, uh, it's racked out to show you how big the battery is coming out of the forklift. This battery is normally charged with a charger of this size. And because of the power requirements of this battery, you normally have to have a three-phase supply. So this is the three-phase plug from this charger. It normally charges at around about 75 amps and it's, it takes a, a quite a lot of power. Now, a lot of people don't have three phase power. They don't have three phase outlets. So they can't use a charger of this sort which is normally designed for the big battery. So what do you do? Well, what you do is you use one of these intelligent <coughs> Uh, 48 volt chargers. It actually is a switch mode eight stage charger and it works in an eight stage mode. This is the charging voltage, this is the charging current. In the beginning we have large voltage pulses which produce large current pulses which stir the battery up. They stir the battery up and, and take some of the contaminants off the electrodes of the battery. We then go into a soft start mode, then we go into constant current, so gradually the voltage builds up, builds up, and then it gets to this point. It then sits at that voltage there, which it has to be at least 2.1 volts per cell. If it's not 2.1 volts per cell, once it reaches the analysis mode, this charger won't continue on with any more charging because it knows that the battery then is not capable of actually taking on a full charge. If the voltage per cell is more than 2.1 it will then go into reconditioning mode and boost the voltage up to 2.65 volts per cell and it will charge that for a period of time and that actually will cause a lot of bubbling and a lot of excitation of the of the cells of the battery and will actually recondition the battery so in con in conjunction with the pulsing at the beginning and the and the reconditioning mode which is also called the equalizing mode you're able to actually bring a bring a forklift battery which is having problems with charge up to very good condition it then goes sits back and goes to float charge which sits at 2. 4 volts per cell and then it just goes into a maintenance charge which just is a ripple which is a ripple charge. Now this charger here, this big charger will not give as large as good a, a charge as this small charger. They both charge need to charge the battery for approximately 8 hours and that's no problem. Sorry. Yeah. What do you want? Yep, okay. Just right. So you'll find that uh, this, 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 what we want, what we're interested in, we want to get to around about 51 volts on a 48 volt battery, but you'll find that this charger will not give you as much voltage as this one. We need to get to around about 2.4 volts per cell to make sure that the battery is fully charged. If we don't get to 2.4 volts per cell, you won't charge the battery 100%. And, 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 it, and it only needs a, a small amount of voltage to be the difference between 90% charged and 100% charged. So this charger is actually more effective than this charger and this charger runs off single phase. 
but because it's more intelligent than this than this charger and has more stages and has more analysis of the battery, it actually has, is able to recuperate the battery. Now I'm going to turn this on now. So I'm turning on the small charger. It's a thousand watt charger. And I've got it in eight stage mode. So this battery charger will work in eight stage, three stage and two stage mode. You can actually charge two batteries at a time. So you have a common negative. You can have one battery connected to this positive and another battery connected to this positive. So it'll charge battery A first and then charge battery B. It'll only charge battery B once it's satisfactorily charged battery A, but it will do it automatically. Now, we're going to turn this on. It's coming on. The light is showing. So the light at the moment is showing orange, which means that it's charging. When the light gets to green, and it won't be flashing, I know that this battery is full and when the battery is full it will be not only full it will each cell will be equalized and also you'll find that the contaminants on the cell have been to a certain degree disturbed and removed so each time you charge it with this battery it's stirring up the battery with this pulsing action and then eventually going into reconditioning mode where we over voltage the battery for a short period of time to, to actually give it that extra boost to make sure that we reach the 2.4 volts per cell at end of charge. So you can see that this is made Okay. okay, at the moment we're charging with the, with the, uh, the single phase charger. We're charging, of course, as you know, a 48 volt lead acid battery. We're charging at constant current. So we're charging here at around about 16.17 amps. We're charging 17 amps DC and we've got about 52.6 volts on the battery. So we're in constant current mode. But the most important thing about this charger is even though it's only a thousand watts, it will charge a battery which is much bigger than what it, you think that it's capable of and still bring it up to full power. In fact, it will recondition it. So all you need is, is a single phase timer and you can run it of a night time for eight, ten hours. You can run it off peak so you can save your electricity when you're charging. Here we charge it uh, off peak at around about nine cents a kilowatt hour. We run the battery charger all night for about eight or ten hours. And we and uh, in the morning you come in, it's ready to go for the operator and it's fully charged. And when I mean fully charged, it's a, got a hundred percent state of charge. So and we know that it's got a hundred percent state of charge because we we, we know by measuring the DC voltage three hours after it's finished charge. You have to wait at least three hours after it's finished charge and you check the DC voltage and from that you can tell and you can tell by the volts per cell as well and you check the individual volts per cell to see that they're all equalized. From knowledge of the total voltage and the voltage per cell you know that the, that the traction battery is back to full, full, um, full state of charge.